In this lesson, we're going to learn about data flow, parallelism, and debugging our program. The basic philosophy of data flow is that the passage of data through nodes within the program determines the order of execution of the functions of the program. Parallelism, on the other hand, describes how separate pieces of code run together at the same time. Let's take a look at a basic VI, which takes in three numbers from a set of controls and adds them together. Test it out by adjusting the knobs and pressing the Run button. Now let's go back to our block diagram and examine the code. As we can see, the three knobs go into the two add functions which compute our values. However, which one of these functions would run first? It's obvious that the add function with the inputs from knobs 1 and 2 would run first because the values are readily available. The second add function has to wait for the first value to be computed before it can execute. This is the sequence the program must run in, and hence its data flow. We can take a closer look at this by using one of the useful debugging features available in LabVIEW, Highlight Execution. Highlight Execution allows the programmer to see the flow of code. To use this feature, simply click on the light bulb in the toolbar. As you can see, it will glow yellow. Now press Run. We now see the movement of data through our code. It's now obvious the first add function runs before the second one. Let's now modify this example to examine parallelism. We will do this by placing another knob on the block diagram. We will also place an additional add function to compute values from knobs 3 and 4 before finding the total. Looking at the code, which one of the add functions run first? The answer is both would run at the same time. This is the concept of parallelism. In LabVIEW, different parts of code can potentially run at the same time if data is available. In this lesson, we learned about data flow, parallelism, and debugging.